Hey, welcome to our van tour. Actually, our house tour. Here is our 2006 Toyota Sienna that we converted to live in full time and travel around the country. We started in North Carolina, went up the East Coast to New York, cut across the country, and now we're in Washington State. Welcome to our kitchen. We got um, our fridge, which we are very excited about. That was probably one of the biggest investment we had. Um, it's a little bit messy and it's full of, full of beer, <laughs> but it's been doing a great job. We are very happy. Then this is our propane burner. I'll open it very quick. Yeah. Yeah. And we usually just pull up this table we have here. Wait. This table. I'll, I will show you later how it looks when it's like set up. So we usually, if we don't have like a campground with a table, like we normally that one. just yeah, we normally just bring this up and just put the burner and set up the burner on it. But normally, right now, I just prepare. Like I'll just take it out for now. And so we built this. We have some kind of like a a towel and a kitchen towel for dishes. We have a this cardboard so this is a velcro um, we pretty much velcro everything because it's the easiest way and uh, I absolutely love that so we just put it on here just below the Coleman so it doesn't take up much space as you can tell space is very very important for us right now uh, we have some kind of like um, just uh, cutlery it's also velcro here we bought this little box in a box store Something like that. The container the store. The container store, yeah, the container store. Um, we have our sink. We normally just like brush our teeth and we wash dishes occasionally. Um, so we have this little hand pump. You can get like water. You just need to pump it out. This is a five gallon tank um, of fresh water. And then we have a wastewater just behind um, this basket in the back. But we don't need to like change it that often. We change it maybe once in two, three weeks, which is really good. Then we also bought a few more other baskets where we have like a, like a nuts, coffee, oats. This is also Velcro. Velcro. This is our little toothbrushes and toothpaste. Um, we get this soap. It's organic, so, so it will not destroy the nature pretty much so this was a gift from Yari's brothers and neighbors so if you're watching thank you so much it's a lifesaver if we need to we have these lights we have but one up here as well and one up here I'm not so sure if I would recommend them they don't last very long oh then we have this basket these two things we were very considering if we will like a build actual drawer and we decided that it's so much easier to just buy this so we just bought we pre pretty much like put all our like kitchen stuff here so in this bottom crate we just have a stuff we don't use that often so and this thing is my favorite part of the kitchen um, these are the free samples of linoleum you can get it at Home Depot um, first of all we were thinking about making like the actual floor in the car but then we decided like it's quite a lot of work and we didn't have that much time and there are two last things I haven't mentioned it. So on this side, there was a little extra space. We are just shoving stuff like this is a some kind of like waterproof bag, um, frisbee and stuff. And on the other side, we have this amazing thing. Just push it a little bit, and it became this kind of basket. It's this is amazing thing. We got it from Amazon, I think. And we usually wash dishes in this because it's so small and so practical. And then you just like push it and it's like this tiny, tiny little thing. And also um, we got these few things um, above our fridge. We got it also from Amazon. That's just for our food. And it doesn't uh, limit the opening the fridge because it's very light and we have still great access to a fridge as well. 
And if um, we need, we can take them off to go grocery shopping. Yeah, exactly. Like if we need, it's so easy. Like we can just take it off like that because the we put their like some hooks down here. And if we need to, we can just like take it off. Here is some other extra space. We just have like unimportant stuff. Cool. So that is the trunk converted into a kitchen. So this is our sleeping area and our storage area. Um, so I'll kind of talk you through everything that we've done. Um, this is our bed, which is a full-size bed, and it's just folded up into three parts with all the blankets and pillows on top. This is not how we originally intended to use it, but this is just makes the most sense. And when we drive and during the day, just so we can have all this open floor space. This thing opens up. This is our um, auxiliary battery as well as just some cords um, and our inverter so that we can charge laptops and phones and whatever while we drive. But we have storage here that comes out, mostly uh, Lucy's stuff. <laughs> I have a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher because we're super um, safe, you know, just in case of who knows. I didn't really I'm not an electrician, so I didn't really know how great the battery would work out, so I didn't, if, in case it started on a fire or something, I just wanted that extra precaution. Each have a storage unit under here, so that's Lucy's, this is mine, it pulls out, it has all our clothes in it, and then that just goes back. This battery in here, which I just mentioned, it only really powers two things, it powers the fridge, and this fan that we installed. So this is the fantastic fan, which is cool. Um, we were debating it. We've watched some other videos that didn't have, like, you know, with minivans that did not have a fantastic fan or any fan. And to be honest, I don't know how they live without it because it's like, even if it's cold, like you just still want that cool airflow and you don't want to always have your windows open, especially if you're sleeping in like a Walmart or um, just somewhere where there's bugs at all, you don't you you don't want your windows open. So to me, it's definitely a necessity. It wasn't that hard to install, but um, it it wasn't something that we really knew what we were doing. So it was kind of a it's kind of an adventure to be honest. Um, but it's nice we have it so that it just sucks the hot air out. If you open the windows, it gets a, a nice, nice breeze going, which is good. Um, and it, it doesn't suck much energy at all, to be honest. And usually we don't even run it. We just have the vent open to allow some fresh air. Um, so the last thing is obviously this huge area right here. That is covered with this board right here. Um, and then that completes the bed. So this is the foot of the bed. That's like the head of the bed. Um, a little bit of the mattress sticks above this thing, which we don't really care. It just, it's, we were thinking about building like a little platform there, but it was definitely unnecessary. And glad we didn't spend the extra time on that. Yeah, so now I will show you how it looks when the bed is actually in bed form. First we have to take off everything. It is a bit of a process, but to be honest, it's not that bad. Um, we either just chuck everything on the floor for the time being, or we just put it in the front seat. And voila, done. This was our van tour. Hope you guys like that. Please subscribe and like the video. Um, and if you want to know anything specific about how we did something, let us know in the comments and we will probably make another video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.